When I hear Taiwan, when I think of Taiwan, I immediately think of my memories of having lived there back in the early 80s when I was young with my parents, uh, of living in Chemu, Taipei, of studying Chinese at the Mandarin Training Center at the Shida National Taiwan Normal University, about the beautiful island it is, and of course the Taiwanese beef noodle soup, which is one of my favorite dishes. Well, the last time I was in Taiwan was in 1995, when I was working for TSMC. Um, so I know it's changed a great deal, but I'm very much looking forward to seeing the Taipei 101 Tower. And of course, to visiting Tainan, where I haven't been yet, and where the Taj landed 400 years ago this year. And that's something that I would very much want to experience, to be there. So those are two things that I really look forward to very much. The essentials for me are probably making the characters credible, believable, doing your research very properly to make sure that the, that the tone of voice, the language use is in tune with the, the time period in which the story is set, and making the, the, the story believable to, get, to give the reader a true sense of the motivation for the characters' actions and decisions that they make. I think that's just the essence of it is to make it as real and plausible as possible for the reader. And of course the writing style, to make that as accessible as possible for the reader to, uh, to enjoy and to bring the history to life in a sense. The book I'm currently reading is called Nathaniel's Nutmeg and it's by Giles Milton. It's basically about the, the, the struggle between the various colonial powers and talking about the Dutch, the British, the Portuguese and the Spanish to obtain the, the trade monopoly on the spice. It's, uh, it's a very interesting book. It's a work of non-fiction, so it reads slightly differently from a novel, but it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating. Well, the Dutch are not exactly known for their culinary culture, but I think that if there was one thing that I would recommend you try when you do come to the Netherlands is to eat a croquette. They're quite typical Dutch and it's a nice snack. And you must definitely try that in combination with, uh, with fries and mayonnaise.